critical member and partner in the Delray Potomac West community for decades. And whereas the Mount Vernon Recreation Center has built long lasting partnerships with the community to include neighbors, businesses, visitors, and has always ensured that doors are open and all are welcome. And whereas with the support of their dedicated, hardworking, and caring staff, such events as the annual Halloween parade, Art on the Avenue, the outdoor movie nights, daily community, gap, daily community meetings, first night, countless programs for seniors and youth, and the annual turkey trot would not happen. And whereas the Mount Vernon Recreation Center staff has stood by, stood, stood side by side with the community in such times as the tragic loss of Kevin Shiflett and Nancy Dunning, and has provided a home where the community may turn for both comfort and support. And whereas the Potomac West Business Association and community wishes to express its thanks, appreciation, and admiration for staff that goes far above and beyond the call of duty. This is a very well deserved deal of item. Recreation centers play a really important part in our city. They're places where our youth can go and, and participate in athletics and, and have a safe place to go after school. Uh, there are places where the community can get together and uh, celebrate in all sorts of festive ways. But it's also, especially in the case of the Mount Vernon Recreation Center, a place where the Tomah Bus community gathers uh, in times of joy and also times of sorrow. And I think it's that combination that covers the full gamut of the experiences that are happening in the community around the rec center that really make it such a special place. Uh, its doors really are open all the time. And I know it uh, has meant a lot to the people up here who are uh, celebrating our great staff at the rec center today. And I'm going to ask Gail to say a few words. Um, my first thanks is to, to Jackie Henderson, who um, was very patient and wonderful. So she she is a wonderful asset to the city, and thank you for working with us on getting this proclamation done. Um, I wanted to, when, when word got out that we wanted to do this proclamation, um, and I want to thank the city especially for doing this, because um, the city is really good about recognizing those in our city that do so much for us. Um, but when we worked that out, uh, the state wanted to participate and the, the federal government wanted to participate. So first um, is going to be a letter um, read by Laura instead. I don't represent the state board. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a letter from the delegate out of my vision I'm going to read. It says, Dear Mayor Yule and members of City Council, As a member of the Virginia General Assembly's House of Delegates representing the community where the Mount Vernon Rec Center is located, I'm very pleased and honored to add my congratulations to the staff for their contributions to the community of Delray and its surrounding area. As someone who has been fortunate to participate in many annual events at the center, I see firsthand the remarkable work that they do. The center is a critical part of the community, serving everyone with dedication and hard work. The Mount Vernon Rec Center serves as a wonderful example of what tremendous things can be accomplished when a city agency, neighbors, and businesses come together to work towards a better community. While I wish I could be there in person to express my thanks and appreciation, the General Assembly is now in session, so I need to be in Richmond. I do ask that you pass on my sincere congratulations to Sheila and the entire staff. And now Patty Moran will read on behalf of our congressman. Congressional Record, House of Representatives. Congratulations to Mount Vernon Recreation Center. Honorable James P. Moran of Virginia in the House of Representatives. Tuesday, February 13, 2007. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to congratulate the staff of the Mount Vernon Recreation Center in Alexandria, Virginia, on receiving the Heart of Potomac West Award. The Mount Vernon Recreation Center has been a key partner in the Delray Potomac West community of Alexandria for decades. The center's staff has built long-lasting relationships with the community, including neighbors, businesses, and visitors, by ensuring that the center's doors are open and that every community member is welcome. Each year, the center staff helps to organize and assist with numer numerous events for the residents and businesses of Delray. These include the annual holiday tree lighting, the annual Halloween parade, Art on the Avenue, Cinema Delray, first night of New Year's Eve, and countless programs for seniors and youth. Without the support of these dedicated, hardworking, and caring staff members, such events could never take place. The staff of the Mount Vernon Recreation Center has stood side by side with the community during times of crisis. When Delray lost two of its citizens, Kevin Chiflett and Nancy Dunning, the center staff acted as a support beacon for a community in mourning. 
providing a home where citizens turned for comfort and support. These devoted and committed staffers have always gone far above and beyond the call of duty. The Mount Vernon Recreation Center is a marvelous asset of the city of Alexandria, and this has occurred through the hard work and dedication of this center staff. I ask my colleagues to join me in congratulating the center staff on being awarded this great honor. Jim Moran. <laughs> I think one of the things about that is so unique about the city of Alexandria is that people really, really care and love this city. And I think there's nowhere, I'm prejudiced, but the Delray Potomac area has a real market on, on caring people. And I think part of it is, because, and what's so unique about Alexandria, so many people that um, work for the city actually grew up in the city and 